Yes. Spirit fair. Do, 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 do. Um. Been a couple of weeks since we've done this. Um, let me update my stream info. I'll update my stream info here. And last but not least, my new tweak. Done. Stream updated. Yeah, auto published vods wasn't on, so I can't add a stream marker because I'm in a bad goddamn streamer. Sorry, Dan. I will link you where it starts. Um, just trying to remember what the last thing we did in this was we. Um, yeah, we we fed both. Uh, Gwen, and I'm terrible with names, um, um, trying to think who the, um, snake lady's name is. Um, do I have... Not Alice. I've got a tool Astrid and Alice now. Um, but I'll, I'll know from there. Gotta remember how to play the game. Uh, no, it's build. Gwen and Summer. That's right, we said goodbye to Gwen in summer. Uh, we have enough for an airdraft, which would be really cool, because that'll help me get around quicker. Um, but I don't think if it's completely necessary. Uh, we built all the lodges, the unique lodges, that we need. Um, I believe now all that we're looking at doing is we, we've got a sheep corral now as well. I believe. Yes, we do. Um, is there anything we can improve? So, let's have a look. Uh, so Astrid's bungalow, we need to... Yeah, so we need a lot more ingre uh, materials now. The loom's fully upgraded. The foundry can be upgraded. Nice. But we need... Uh, yeah, we need glims. Okay. Kitchen upgrade's been done, sawmills upgraded, Gwen's fucking cottage is upgraded, some is, I'm getting teary eye thinking that they're no longer there. Uh, see, so we need oak planks and slates. Oh, I suppose we could actually do Alice's cottage. Um, we need fire glow for the guest house, which we don't have. And then a tools workshop, we need glass, comet powder, and ash planks, which we don't have, so we need to find that. Alright, so we're on the hunt for glims and materials. Uh, it is bedtime though, so we will need to sleep until morning. Uh, 
Um, let's have a look at the quests. Yeah, we need a lot of glims. Um, oh, we can upgrade our blueprint table as well because we could get iron ingots and wool fabric. Um, so we need a picture frame, which we we need some fried chicken. Uh, we need to grow a tree in the orchid. Ah, uh, sorry, we need to visit the Iwashima countryside. And we can travel to Susan's museum at negative 150, 150. Might as well do that, actually. Since we're here. Ah, uh, it'll be up here, which we can't do yet. We can't break through here. We have to upgrade the ship still. Oh, well, that's... That's interesting. Um... What do I want to do? Uh, we can go visit uh, Olga. But it's going to be in resource management and resource collecting it for the next bit. We got lettuce. We got leak. I need to wake people up. Get up, lazy bones. Uh, cabbage. Eat water, of cabbage. Lettuce. More lettuce. I need, like, apple and seeds because I need to grow a tree in the orchid as well. Um, I can't shear the sheep, can I? Not yet. Oh, I can. Oh, of course I can. That's how I get the wool threads. Eat you some rice. Oh, get out. Um... Uh, yes, we'll collect some more lightning in a bottle and we'll collect... Bit more difficult because I've got so many different areas now, but... Um, because they're going to be worth glims if we do it. I'll stick to the middle area, I think. I'm gonna miss that one. I'm going for this one. No, no! Got it. Bitch. Oh no, the sheep's gonna get electrocuted. Nah, protected you, sheep. Alright. Um, we could upgrade. Now, honestly, we, we literally could. Um, some water these. Um. Uh, I don't have anything to plant in here, do I? I have cotton seeds that will help. But I don't have anything else. I need to get more seeds as well. Since we have the glims. Uh, because we want wool and iron ingots, right? Get a hug. Thank you. Um...
Um, what can I give him, I wonder? Oh, that's right, he wants the fried chicken, which we haven't worked out yet. We haven't got the fried chicken yet. We haven't found chicken. Fabric. Okay. Keep approaching. Oh, shit, sorry. Um, <laughs> Come on, Daffodil. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we get some more resources here. Um, I'm also will have a look to see what I'm missing in terms of equipment to see what I can plant. Because it'll be useful for me to have like this resource available. Oh, missed it. Yeah, so like have slates for instance available because I know I need more of the slate. Um yeah, we'll get some more maple well, we'll put some more maple in. Um Yeah. Um this can be limestone. Okay. Thank you. Um, that just reminds me, I just may as well have a look to see what else I can upgrade before I move on. Um, looking at fucking Twin Lodge again. It's gonna make me fucking cry again. Um, so Ash Plank, which we don't have Ash, we don't have Pulsar. We can do Iron Ingots. Cotton Fabric we can do, so we can do Cotton Fabric. Um... Yeah, we can't do the picture frame yet because we don't have Ash Comet of Glass. That's fine. Two more we can't do. Um, oak and slate we need for that. Okay, I think that's basically all we can do. Um, now up here. Yeah, cotton fabric, oak, and iron. Okay, we can do that. We can slowly improve that. We'll just need to go and just harvest some stuff. We also need seeds, because we're running low on seeds anyway, so... Um, where do we want to go for seeds? Because we can't cross this line yet. I do not believe... Oh, no, we should be able to now. I think we can. I think we should be able to cross, because I think we've upgraded the ship enough. And we will find out. Says he's gonna go fight seeds immediately, just goes somewhere else that has not got seeds. Um, we'll do some iron, we'll do some more ingot stuff here. Uh, yeah, that's more coal. Okay, done. Oh, we can make glass from this, can't we? 
Yeah, let's make some glass. Also need to look at improving our fishing stand potentially. See if we can catch some chickens. <laughs> can we let that run for a little bit? Yeah, we can't break through, can we? Yeah. Pretty good. It was worth a shot. Alright, so we'll go seed hunting. Can I improve the fishing stand? No, of course not. Um, where do we want to go then as a result? Since we can't go that way. I mean, there's coal there. And there's a whole... Oh, that's right, the shops are there too. Um, yeah, we can actually go there. We might as well go through the electricity as well. Or well, the rainstorm, at least, because then I can fish. Um, let's get some more al aluminium. Not fishing at all, when I should be. Well, it's a, it's a storm, so he's going to ask us if we want to go um, lightning in a bottle again, which, yeah. Probably sell that, I suppose, right? We do need to sell some stuff quick. Lightning storm, don't be scared. Yeah. Oh. Don't get me. No, I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. That's going to make me upset. Alright, let's see if we can go fishing. This looks like it's probably going to be another mackerel. Yeah, just judging by the um the tension. Oh, right, that's a squid. Right, prove me wrong, game. Go to the shop, sell some stuff, buy some stuff. The more the merrier. F make five spirits for each in a classic mood up at least once. Oh, ecstatic. Oh, a classic. Um, what don't I need? Um, I have a feeling like I need this, wouldn't I? That's the thing. Like, there's some stuff I don't want to, like, get rid of. But I have a feeling like I'm going to need it, but I can probably find it again, right? Fuck it. Uh, we can get some rid of that. Okay. Sixty thousand for that. Get fucked. Yeah, I can buy them back. Okay, if I need to, I can buy them back. This is not great, but... Fine. Um, I want some more carrots, some more coffee, some more corn, some more linen, and some more turnips. Okay. Okay. 
Fair enough. Uh, there's a couple of other things that I didn't get here last time. Oh, that's right, we've got this ore here. Which is going to be useful. But you got cool. Cool absolutely is useful. Locked. <laughs> LZA unions forever. I could probably make my way to the top of that, can't I? Since I've got the float ability, right? I can probably do that. Oh, a large glim bottle. Hells, yeah, 500 glim. And we get an empty bottle as well. Aha! No, 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 no! Okay. We learnt pancakes and we found a crystal chandelier, which I'm pretty sure was going to be worth quite a pretty penny. Don't know why it would be only worth a pretty penny, but, you know, not thousands of dollars, but, you know, the economy these days, it's in shambles. A ceramic bolt. Hey, they get two more amethysts. Sweet. So if I ever need amethysts, then well, um, Nebula fabric, interesting. Oh, that's right, I did pick up nebula thread. Oh, maybe I can start doing some stuff with that. Hmm. Maybe I... Maybe I do... Oh, hang on, I need to crush it, don't I? Yeah, I think I need to expand some of my stuff out a bit. I need to get some more cooking stuff as well. Oh, I've got sugar cane. Ooh, sugar cane. Nice. Um... Yeah, okay. So we should be good for a little bit. I may not have many seeds, but we should be good for a bit. It is too dark to navigate. Please do it in dawn. Yeah, no problem. Um, whilst we're here, though. Heepy heepy heepy. Heepy heepy heepy. I just love the look of indignation on their faces you shear them, it's like, the heck did you just do to me? Um, alright, so what upgrades can we get from this? So, we just need wool fabric, and we got enough glims. Okay, so we can upgrade the blueprint table with Albert, which I think we might do next. Um, we just need how many wool fabric? Uh, 16, so we'll do that now, technically. We got some time. And since it's raining, we don't need to do much here. But I can plant some more seeds, I suppose, whilst we're here. Um, we've got the sugar cane growing because we'll add some sugar stuff. Let's get some corn seeds because we can know we can do pancakes now, which would be nice. I think some people would like that. Um, so we need wool thread. We have wool fiber. So get as much of this as we can. Actually, no, we. Wants to. I don't know. I'm right. It is thread. What am I thinking? Turn that into fiber. So it turned into thread, not fiber. Turn the fiber into thread. I have a shocking memory when it comes to what I need to do in these games. Yeah, so I, then I need fabric. So I need to. Do that. I can turn cotton. I need to put cotton in as well and make some cotton threads. Ooh. That's... No. 
There we go. Okay. Good. Make some cotton threads. Well, okay. Very difficult. Are we going Egyptian cotton? Egyptian cotton, by the way, is one of my favourite types of cottons. I do... I have splurged with bedding in my house to make sure that I do have beautiful, like, multi-thread, like, high thread count stuff for my beds, because... Oh, it's so good. Take care of your body when you rest. Alrighty. Cool. So we've got some cotton fabric now. We've got wool fabric. Um, we are going to sleep. And then we'll make our way to Albert's. Um, and then yeah, we will see what the upgraded stuff on the ship can do. Um, still haven't found any check-ons. Where am I going? Need to go to Albert's. Alright, let's make our way. Uh, I need to cook some stuff. Wakey, wakey. Uh, where did I move the kitchen? There it is. Um, let's look at recipes. Grain and veggie. Good mushroom. Fish curry. Fish and grain. Good skewer. Um, casserole, grain and meat. Pork chops. Egg and flour. I don't have egg. Fried chicken. Chicken and fat. Hang on. Ah, oh, here we go. A tree. The tree style, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped it tremendously. Ah, get it tremendously? Oh, god damn it, the pun tax. Laws of this world will out. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Well, I've been doing some thinking. All my life I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never really had, had any time for... Excitement. Adventure. I thought if it's not too much of a hassle, of course, and since we're traveling all over all of the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet, Nordwilder, was it? From what I heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how can I devour these? What, you also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if, we ever, if we're ever around these parts, I think we could have loads of fun. Alright. I was about to say, where's the door? Um, get some rice and some squid. Some copper going. May as well. Um, one more. Uh, we might as well wait here because we're almost at the destination. We're almost at Albert's. Alrighty, Albert. Let's upgrade our blueprints, shall we? See what else we can make. You've got a beautiful orchid full of apples. You don't know what lives and reads inside, do you? Bookworms. Fair enough. Oh, chicken coop. There we go. That's what we need for fried chicken. Is a chicken coop. Uh, we don't have slate. Oh, we are getting slate though. 
Brilliant. Okay, so this is going to help with the fried chicken request. And oh, oh, we do have the icebreaker. Interesting. Um, we need silica powder and zinc ingot, so we need a crusher, which we've got now. We've got the crusher, which will help, and we've got the lounge. Okay. Awesome. We are making progress. Uh, who's my favorite guy? Hey. Oh, I almost have full iron ingots. I could actually do that and get a treasure map. Hmm. Very interesting. Thinking. Um... Tchotchkes. Alright, crystal chandelier is worth a lot, so it bowls worth quite a bit. That's a good amount of tchotchkes. Um... We'll get some more empty bottles. Because we need them. Always. Always need more empty bottles. Alright. Thank right, you for coming. Nope. Dinner's ready. Um, we'll need to find out what we need to build for the chicken coop and shit as well. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna wait for everyone to tell me when they're hungry. I think that's probably the better way to go. Right, we're gonna wait for those to grow fruit, obviously. Alrighty, what do we need? Uh, let's go with the big obvious one that we want is the chicken coop. Uh, so we need wool fabric and ash planks. Oh, f we don't we don't have ash, do we? Shit. Um, there's a goddamn sawmill. There it is. No, we don't. We need to find ash trees. We're running low on ash constantly. All right, that's the next goal. Finding ash. Salt harbor. Uh, it's just crates. It's maple logs. Spirit there. Go to the bus stop. I think this is ice, right? So I think we can probably go up there now that we have the ice crusher. That's right, we do have the ice crusher. We can go up there now. Oh, fuck me. Um, that's right, that's the quarry. No. Um, we are going to... Where's the quickest... Where's the nearby? We're gonna go here. Since we can. Just thinking. Um... It was Shima countryside, that's right. And I think that's further up. Oh no, it's here. Well, since Astrid wants to go here, we can go here with Astrid. Um, we can pick up some of that stuff, because yeah, strawberries, copper, wool, limestone, oak logs, yeah, may as well. Um, Oseki Quarry. We've got the Crow's End Ink as well. So, I think we can either head north or south. I can't remember where exactly. Yeah, there's Nord Wheel. So, I think we can probably do that. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done this. I've got to remember. There we go. Um, it's been a couple of weeks, I've got to remember where we can and can't go. Um, so we'll go here, because we can go to Iwashima Countryside. With Astrid. Slowly fulfilling all the requests, just in, I don't think, in the best order, and certainly not in the best memory either. That. Alright, let's do this. Do some farming. 
We gotta get ourselves a chicken coop. Cabbage. Yeah, it is. Grow some carrots. Grow some turnips. Grow another lettuce, why not? The design doesn't look like too many things like die out. <laughs> it just freaks me out, obviously, that there's a lot to do. That will always get me how much there is to do, like constantly. Um, I don't need to plant the next thing, they're fine. Um, let us go. Here we go. We can probably get up there now, can't we? We can probably glide. Old carpet. Nice. Alright, Munchkin. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this. But who knows? Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too far. The humidity here is killing me. Go, go. I trust you will find interesting stuff. That amount of fur, that does not surprise me. You're going to spit off the bridge again, aren't you? Hmm. Uragawa. Hmm. Oh, that's not the... Bummer. He was here, you say, and he met someone? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do, but just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Furugawa, you say. I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. At least that's what the brochures say. Always love these colourful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Alright, Munchkin, let's check it out. Is that... Where he went, though? Do we do we have confidence in what they say? They spit off bridges, for fuck's sake. Well, berries. Since we're here, may as well mine. And, um... Get some wood. I don't want to say that. It feels like I'm playing a worker placement game. Like, um... Stone Age or... Should play Katan again. It's been a while since I've played that. Yep, finally got it. I should also set up a command for my goddamn birthday stream. Alright, off to full go. Not Toriyama, that's the Gurenu Fields. Tikashima, that's the Restorostu. Haseki Kawari, Furugawa. Um. Yee, we might as well. Might as well do a journey. Not in a rush to quick travel. We can get some other stuff done whilst I'm here. Like watering the plants. Get some more. Do some fishing. We still need ash. We still haven't got fucking ash wood yet. There's a real bother. Yeah, we need ash planks. Oh, crates. Good. Let's 
seeds and bottles. Ooh, tea seed. Uh, tea seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Yes. Ooh, gold ring. And a medium gun bottle. Hell yeah. Sugar cane. Oh, we get sugar replaced in a crusher. What do we need to do for the crusher? That'll also be useful. Um, the lounge. We need ash plank and zinc. Crusher, let me guess. Ash planks. Fucking pulsar ingot. Fuck. Alright. Um, I have a feeling. Got a bit of an inkling. This is gonna be one of those days. Also, ingot. We need obviously the rocks for it, which I don't think we have. You've got a surprise. Oh. Still gonna get you chicken. Um, might as well cook some stuff whilst we're here as well, because people are going to get hungry tomorrow morning. Um, what do we want to cook? Ooh, char, blue salmon, cod, I forgot I had all this. Ooh, bay shrimp. Um, let's do vegetables and that. It's too dark to navigate, we've got to sleep. We'll shear the sheep. <laughs> Thank you for the wool. Alrighty. I was just thinking, do we have enough room for everything? And then I'm looking at all the space we got at the top, and I'm like, yeah, I probably need to rearrange everything for the fifth time. But yeah, we'll we'll have lots of stuff. Alright, got water plants. Heepee heepee heepee! I didn't wake everyone. Booyah bays. I need to have one of those. Yeah. Wake everyone up. Get the fuck out of bed. Oh, apples. It's so beautiful. Hey, good morning. Yep. Alright, time to feed everyone. Um, you want an apple? You can get a hug. <laughs> I always interrupt her just as she's about to take a bite out of this sandwich that has magically been made from the, uh... From the strawberry. Um. No, oh, I know he's starving, but no. Oh. When we come back. So starve. We'll feed him something. We'll give him some berries. Um. <sighs> the ground. Hmm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I can smell? This peculiar mix of musk and nonchalance. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. The mixture of musk and nonchalance. You're funny. That name... Don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. 
Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Fucking playboy. Jesus Christ. Alright, is there anything we can do over to the right? Oh, that's right. There's the, um, there's this spirit here. You know what to do, Stella. Go ahead and confront that horrid woman. Oh, that's right. I need to go to the um, art museum at that location. I can get up there. Okay, I was going to get the right... Close enough. What a bust. Hmm. Sorry, still I. Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. Don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. Don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. Don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. Don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't. Hey. Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Fair enough. One of the people in my Discord just posted the World Excel Championship. I need to have a look at this. Abode. Letter from Olga. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Marsha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her, Olga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take the ore. Oh, I've got to wait. Uh, I know you're starving. Stella. I've heard we've received another letter from Olga. Marsha, you say? She's her sister. She might know something about Giovanni's location. Hmm, okay. Good. Let's go talk to her then. She is, how to put it, special. Me and her. Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella? Thanks for playing, Messenger. You're wonderful. Alright. Well, there's only one location we can... We'll see if we can head north. I think we can. Also, we're here. Uh, actually, we'll just go over this way. Yeah, we'll go to the... Actually, we want to go over here, don't we? No. Because there's no ash over here. Um, Let us go to the bus stop. Go to the bus stop. Some tea. Who doesn't want some tea? Get some more rice. Uh, and some more linen. May as well. Oh, I could have gone to minus 150, 150, right? I probably could have. Hmm, that's right. We're here at the bus stop, anyways. Here, Alex's goddamn music. And happy little seal. Um, nearest bus stop is... Yeah, here. Because there's no ash, is there? Okay. Alright, let's go there. And we'll travel up north. 
I'm very certain I can travel up north because I've got the icebreaker. Let us see. Just thinking of what to do. Can do some more cooking, I suppose. Let's see what else we can combine. Is this how you like make coal? <laughs> if you need to. It's gonna take ages, but okay, gives me coal, I think. Wouldn't surprise me if it does. Um, yeah, let's get some more fish. Not we're waiting. Oh, ceramic bowl, nice. Got some glints. Bay shrimp. Yep, that's the ice. Let's get the fuck out of me. This is done. Um, let's get some leaks since we have leaks. Oh, the poor sheepies are in frozen areas without their wool. No, oh, poor sheepies. So I think we've got to wait for her to come to the front so we can have the, the chat with her. Oh, there's um oval um, skill thing there. Oh, she's just going to... Yeah, she's just going to get on the boat. Fair enough. Could have gone. That's alright. Be a nice... Nice and wait. How invigorating. Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. Oh, smell the crisp winter air. In these colours. Why, oh, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. Oh, you greedy son of a bitch. What have you got for me now? Alright, lay it on me. I feel so fucking bad. I'm just gonna share this sheep in the middle of fucking winter because I want the wool. <laughs> you should always move your arms when it's cold outside. Like this. Look, I'm talking and moving. It's multi- I'm multitasking like a champ. No one can stop me. You go, dude. You go. 
Oh. I'm inside your house. I'm fucking shit up. Who invented winter? Wish I could find my keys. I don't think I know you. I think my partner wouldn't like it if I was talking to a strange child. Don't talk to me again, please. Or if you do, do it discreetly. Fucking got called out, didn't I? Jesus Christ. Alright, what have we got here? <gasps> oh, I can zip line, but I need one more. No. Oh, that's the water. Quick, get out of the water, you'll freeze. <laughs> like the sheep. Look at that. Isn't is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction. Didn't think I'd ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that Ans Ansgar managed to get away from Harold's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Ansgar managed to escape with the Countess's sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me, I'm swooning just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for ice patches. Oh, I wish I could zip line. I need one more oval. Maybe I get one here. I'm freezing my feet out here. Fair enough. Oh, and this statue here with the bushes ever white. This is I pictured it. How uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where Ansgar offered the sapphires to Agnita? I would have stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians for the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty but for a second. Oh, how romantic. And then she confessed her love, and then they... Well, you know what happened next. Although in my mind it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ansgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. Fair enough. Oh, and this dark, windy spot. It's just like the scaffoldings where Ansgard and Harold jeweled. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs and whistling of the policemen. Even the smoke reminds me of the train station below. And then, glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. And just as Ansgar had adeptly disarmed his opponent, the treacherous Agneta emerges and stabs Ansgar in the back. Of course, how could Ansgar know that she was the half-niece of the cruel Harold? Leading Ansgar advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And as he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he's cornered by his opponents. With nowhere to go, they know it is but a matter of time. Or well, they can deliver him to Duke Frederick, Ansgar's long estranged twin brother and usurper of the family title. But Ansgar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and. Just as he is engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, what? Oh, still an arm? Alright, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just. I'm a little tired. Let's get back home, okay? Just. Let's go. Oh, well, we need to come back here with, uh, with a noble, which I think I know how to get, because obviously there's the location, um, 150, negative 150, 150, which we know is gonna be a position that gets us, um, uh, someone's, I believe someone's oval. We can, I'll double check, but pretty sure it will. It's so far. Oh, wait up, I'm, um, I'm tired. Would you? Would you mind helping an old lady walk back to the tender? Yeah, of course. Come on. Daffodil. If you don't catch up, you're being left behind. Is it Daffodil? Here you go. Yeah, good Daffodil. We'll, um, sleep till morning.
and we'll make our way to the location. Ooh. Job specialty, okay. Where is it? 150, 150. Be here, right? Wake people up. I forgot to wake people up. Minute still. I wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all, but I can't keep following you around like that. Just too tiring. Besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just. Has anybody told you how smothering you can be? Please leave me some space now, will you? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I figured that was coal. Made sense. We don't have fat though. I would love to have fat because we need fat for fried chicken. So we need butter or some kind of oil. Which we know how to get oil. That's not the problem. Um, we need the crusher though. Um, that's the problem. Uh, let's get some celery. Because we don't have any celery. Great. Great, 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 great. Sunflower seed. Nice. Aluminium ore. We need a crusher still though for the um sunflower seed. Or for the sunflower, I should say. Um uh, marble. Ooh, marble. Nice. Need some popcorn? Need some popcorn. Uh, you're picking the apples for me, that's fine. Yep, I know. I still can't make fried chicken yet. And some pork chops. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, so we need to crush them. Um, so we need pulsar. I don't even know what a pulsar. I need pulsar like or something like that, which I don't think I have. Um, I don't can't find marble yet either. I've already got an orchid. Chicken coop requires ash planks. I can do do the wool fabric whilst I'm here. I may as well. Since we'll need plenty of that as well, anyways. Your planks. No, thank you for the egg plank. Um, where's the wool? I've got wool thread. Why am I doing this? Plenty of wool fabric now. Well, at least enough for a while. Um, let's do because we've never we haven't done some Arctic fishing. Let's do some Arctic fishing. I at least can't remember if I did.
Oh, we landed somewhere. We did, because we got a char. Where did we land? Ooh, Nord Sea Pier discovered. Go back. Oh, is that it up there? Hang on. Let me just double check. Oh, that's that there. Okay, we might as well go there, since we can. I'll talk to you. You might have noticed, but Alice, well, she seems to have trouble getting around, doesn't she? I don't think she can use ladders anymore. I'm not sure she'd tell you, but I think she's stuck up there. Maybe you could move her house down to the deck level. I'm sure that would help her. No problem at all. Easy. Done. Let's, let's actually get to the pier, shall we? Have a look at what the pier has to offer. And then we'll go to that location. And we still have to find goddamn some fucking ash trees, because we don't have fucking ash wood. Oh, I just left. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> talk to talk to them. Oh. There we go. Oh, hello, it's you. Have you seen Eugene? He must be in the garage again. When you see him, can you ask him to bring me my old woolly? Getting a bit chilly in here. Um. You used to have a woolen blanket I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you, that's very nice of you. Oh, do not tell me she has Alzheimer's. Oh, madam, you've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster. Or on a billboard. They're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. But we can fix that in post. I'm getting one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress. You don't do you don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Ziegfeld? Nothing for those French shepherds, or whatever it's called. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But, if that's true, you're pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It'll be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It'll be a box office smash. Can't you see it? I knew I could count on just walking the streets. It'll be a star in no time. My name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm. It doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts and a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. There's this veteran Catherine who could work. Apparently she's been taken in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could also go the demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibities. Casting movies, what a rush. 
All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Jesus Christ, okay. Got fucking cornered. Did it to myself, really, but... That's what I get for exploring weird places I don't know. Ooh, something in the water. Blah, 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 blah. Think. <gasps> we found some old money. Some old coins. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 We. Ooh, heated treated crab. It's locked. Oh, what the heck is that? Hmm. Geronimo! Oh, me! Oh, we! Have we gone too far right? I have, haven't I? Yeah, come back. <laughs> yeah, locked. Fair enough. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, Oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. Came with the early bird swimmer. Ah, oh, an antique bust. I wonder what's over there. That's a very long zip line. I'm not going to tempt fate because I'm pretty sure I can't get over there anyways. I'll have to wait till I have the um the ability. No. Right. I, I think this is yeah, this is shenanigans, right? Yeah. Alright, we continue our journey for minus 150, 150. Which I believe is the walrus. Yep. <laughs> yep. need to harvest those yet. Oh, we can have the cherries, though. Cherries! <laughs> I lost, lost my own thoughts there for a second. one. Some people are getting a bit hungry. Have you thought about the next meal? Cherries. Get a hug. <laughs> I didn't know we could change daffodils color as well. Owls, fucking, yeah, Daffodil's gonna be pink. Alright, we're at the museum. We'll find the next person. We can uh, get the oval form. We can then... Uh, you must be Susan. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here. On this godforsaken rock. 
In the middle of the ocean, she came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all of that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Mm. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. <clears throat> Spirit Pharaoh, whose name I don't know, nor care to know, I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods, in all their materialistic arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the Collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behaviour with, well, more junk. What irony is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the ac accumulated bundles as payment to do no who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous, one, what, what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave. Quickly. And pick up after yourself. Looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It's not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. But wait, I recognize this. Oh. Oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow materialistic superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about <laughs> asceticism. And as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is... Let's see. No. This can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right, just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just, just take anything you want and get out of my sight. I have more collection shit for you. <laughs> you started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly. You can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They're all slippery, you little bastards. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep your spirit, Pharaoh. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, we even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spirit Pharaoh. It sounds terrible, it doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Hey, welcome back, Aya. Susan. Sue Sun. Susan the Collector. Ooh, awesome. Hey, I need one more. Um, ooh, the Easter outfit if I do the cooking. Oh, I want to get the cooking. Oh, and a Blackberry outfit. Oh. I'm going to have to collect all of these, aren't I? Because I'm going to, because I want to, because I really, really want to. Oh wow, halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, well I'm not keeping you. Go. Well, there's one more reward that you have. Oh, how wonderful. You've piloted almost all of the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer, show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. I've got some old carpet. Oh, that's the crusher upgrade for the diamond. Oh, I've got to find a diamond. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I can find a diamond. I've got to find all the different vegetable stuff. Okay. Alrighty. Fair enough. This is how this is going to be. But on the positive side, we can go to the spirits and we can get a new spirit on board. Um, where was he again? He was... Fugashiwa? Fugashi... Was he? Fugasawa? I think it was Fugasawa. Okay. Um... He was... Yeah, wasn't he? He was here. Furuga uh, Furugawa. Uh, not really. <laughs> um, it depends on your actions, really. 
It depends on what enemies you're facing, what your actions are. It, it's not like you, you get to like decide what when they die necessarily. <laughs> um, it really depends on how what happens in the story. My old legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps get me to the prow? Of course. Come on, let's help you. I mean, that still is a possibility. Oh, it's the wrong way. I went the wrong fucking way. Went to the aft, not the fucking bow. Hey there, I want to exhibit your tchotchkes and sell you some more tchotchkes. I just need to help. Need to help her out. Okay, we will. I just need to quickly before you guys need to sell some shit. Um, do we have any errands I can fulfill? Oh, cotton seeds would actually be really good. Um, so would sunflower seeds. Uh, I don't think I need any more bright jelly, so we're good. I have so many things I can sell. Brilliant. Brilliant. Keeping this shit, just in case. Alright. Uh, always buy some more empty bottles. I got 15,000. Wow. I've got a lot. Uh, we'll buy an odd seed as well. Whilst we're here. Yeah, take Alice back to her house in the evening. Yeah. Okay. I think we're about to say goodbye to Alice soon. We just need oak planks. Okay, let's do the oak planks since we can. Uh, slate, I think I can pick up as well fairly quickly. Yeah, let's do this. Head pets. I'll activate the head pets after I cut some logs. Okay, there you go. Crates. Oh, sorry, give me two seconds. I also got this crate as well. Eh, no, down, down. Get the crates. Okay, now I'm in the water. Head pets. Yeah, head pets. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the head pets. <laughs> Boop. Um, uh, some turnips, and we put the we'll plant the odd seed as well. Heepy 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 heepy. Time to get sheared. We need more wool. Yep. Um, you like simple stuff? Have a coffee and a hug. I think everyone's looking for food. <laughs> I haven't fed them in a day. Oh, where'd you go? That's all? There you are.
Oh, you have had that recently. Apologies. Have some good veggies. Ooh, nice, nice. Stay in there long or just a like a day visit? Apples, got the apples. A few days? Nice. What is That's fair enough. Absolutely do it just to help get you away from that situation. That's all good. None knew what you meant. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. It's down, a, it's down a fairly traumatic, so I'm, I'm happy that they've accommodated that for your health. It doesn't sound nice, what they did. Doesn't seem fair as well. So. Good that you're getting away for a while. Ah, nice. Back again, are you? And would you look at that? You've got the piece. Oh, Stella, this is very good. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of a hag. What ingenuity, what spunk. Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavours. Or shall I say, our endeavours. Well, it is decided then. There's no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, yes, such a boat might be just the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. No, that's awesome. Sounds like a really good place for you to be for the next couple of days, hopefully. When are you when are you heading to, to see her? Is he a praying mantis? That would make a whole bunch of sense, because he's Oh, Nice. Uh -huh. Cool, cool. Alright, right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but... Well, what if it hurts? Ah, yeah, yeah, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Oh, he's a crow. Uh -huh. Ah. I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I've got to introduce myself. How oh, forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island. I know that together we will accomplish great things. This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I'll put together the greatest exhibit of my life. You'll help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first, payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. There's the obol we need. Are you hungry? Can we get a hug? <gasps> oh, yeah, you get... I don't, I don't mind carrying over now and then. Sweet. Yeah, he's a good addition. The uh, oval is also a really good thing because it means that we can now use the zip lines. That is very true. I love all of them as well. Um, we can go to the bus stop now because we need to go back to where the skill is. 
What a drab. Stella, the boat looks delightful, but this prow, what a waste of space. Really, you should consider brightening it up with a bit of a figurehead. I'm sure any decent shipwright could help you with that. Yep, I'm guessing we're going to see. Yep, we're going to get a figurehead. We're going to get that from... Um... Dog or what's his name? Um, the shark. That's what they... I'm terrible with names. Fuck. Now where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility such as a sawmill? It have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. Oh yeah? A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one aboard? No. Damn it. Hopefully they'll come back in stock. Oh, hopefully. Sometimes they, sometimes they do, like, bring them back in after a while. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is a fully functioning foundry. You've got quite a well-finished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You built a mailbox already, fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. Hey, lock and load. Oh, we, we finished lock and load. Nice. Um, oh, what's his name? Albert, that's it. Oh, we can get the figurehead from there, but I really, really want to... Um, shit, where is it? Uh, it's Nord Seed Pier. Nord Wheeler. That's what we want to go. <laughs> Crabby hands. <laughs> yeah, we want to go to Nord Wheeler because... Um, oh, it's evening. We need to escort Astrid back. Not Astrid. Um, Alice back. Oh no, how did the cookies turn out? Awesome. No. <laughs> Once my daughter Annie and I had a little outing to the seaside, it was such a nice day. Oh, there was a picture of that day in the envelope we found the other day. I've got it right here. Look at her outfit. Always so fashionable. Later that day, she lost her hat to a gust of wind, though. What a shame. Oh, are you ready to walk me back home? Oh, we got the beach outfit. I think I know what happened to Alice and why she died. It's not completely terrible, it's just old age, but... I baked something. Oh, you baked something. Oh, Thank you. Um... Oh, the beach outfit. That looks pretty cool. I do like the periwinkle outfit, though. I'm partial to that. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like, um... <laughs> oh, the hedgehog. Her name's Alice. Annie, I think, is her daughter. But yeah, I think um, what happens to Alice is um, she dies of Alzheimer's or old age because she's forgetting stuff and her obviously her body is just not up to it anymore. So. Whee! Hey, 
apple pie. She absolutely does. Oh, no. Missed it. Okay, I think I know what I can do there. So I just need to go to the left and then immediately say all right. Okay. Am I doing this? Nope. No, bugger. That's fine. We can come back and get that. I've got the zip line now, which is good because we need the zip line for stuff. Absolutely. Um, we just need to, I think, um, Alice's time is almost up, uh, because we did the adventure with her. Um, we just need to expand her room. I think that's all we have left to do. Um. I... Uh, there's Marsha. Alright, we need to go speak to Marsha anyways. We don't need aluminium, we're good on that. Yeah, there's some more blueprints and stuff I've got to unlock. Still haven't found where any ash trees are at the moment. I don't think so anyways. Um, no, I don't need that. Well, let's have a chat with Marsha. You? Letter from Albert. Dear customers... Oh, ah, yeah, yep. Zipline post, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do the karaoke still, yeah. I just don't think we'll be able to do um, Candela because that was the first thing that I was going to do, but then my morning's been arranged, rearranged. Um, so we'll probably just do plastic, uh, Placid Plastic Duck karaoke and then I'll do get uh, Rocksmith at the end. Uh, and ideally, uh, the ideally a project of this breadth would require dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements, but it also requires an official desk from which security can work comfortably. As well as a waiting area and front desk, some storage, maybe a gift shop, although we might have managed without one. What? A bit much? Yeah, yeah. On the contrary, so I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I've thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical, uh, paradoxical space, for it is both houses of work, w both houses works of art, and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. <laughs> and that's one of the many ways the Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated Etruscan art architecture in its ideas. I have got what I've written down. If I don't mind going over the final points of the lecture again, you need me to repeat. No, it's fine. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. <laughs> Basically, it's a gallery. It's, just, it's an art gallery, and that's going to be his, his special house. Um, cotton thread. Okay, so cotton and marble. So marble we have to find. Um, all the sound flowers already. Okay, so you plant one and you get four seeds, which obviously makes sense. Alright, so let's get the cotton planted because we'll need plenty of cotton then, or cotton threads. He did ramble till morning. <laughs> So we got plenty of that. Uh, 
Um. Oh. Uh -huh. Um. Okay, I haven't found what your favourite food is yet, but that's fine. Alright. Almost here. Alrighty. Talk to Marsha. I told you, Marsha and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth, and no, not the funny kind, and yet it's much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. Alright, to be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Yeah, go for it. Perfect. Marsha, good to see you again, old hag. <laughs> off to a fucking flying start there, Astrid. Well fucking done. You haven't retreated much farther than I thought. How are you doing these days? Oh well, if it isn't Astrid, you've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you'd need a favour? If it's a scarf, sorry honey, but I've just given the last one I needed to a lovely chap up in the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. That's nice of you, but that would be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me. While we were cruising the oceans. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter that you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually, but Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga may be, and I won't even talk about Arena. But me? Oh, my never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood how his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden, or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover. You don't? Exactly. That's because I've never told anyone. Oh, Marsha, darling, that's true, but what do you make of Sir Langdon's spat with his wife? Or because someone blabbed about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's maid? Or what about the time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zachariah? Oh, oh, what do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? I could go on and on and on, honey. Aye. But that was different. Where is he, Marsha? Oh, well, okay. He's he's in Loneberg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Marsha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. You did the right thing, and I won't forget it. Who knows, you might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your services. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Marsha. Damn, I hate a stupid face. I'm out of here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do this because we need more marble. So I don't mind losing some to make some. Uh, but I do not have. Uh, I need ash. I still have not found f where fucking ash logs are. So I need ash. Desperately need it. Cause that's what's holding everything up. We know he's in Loneberg. Let's find out where Loneberg is again. That's quartz, don't need quartz. Yeah, nothing there. Maybe? No. Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here? Hmm. Probably going to the quarry. Because I need, do need more slate anyway, so the quarry is not a bad choice for me. Oh, I can go into this mines, because I haven't gone to this mines yet. That's actually another good point I can go, because there's marble there too. Which I will need. Alright, let's bring Alice back in. Oh, who are you? What am I? Oh. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. I'm alright, I'm fine. Yes, yes, I'm sure. I'll just carry on with your day. Oh. 
Excuse me, have you seen Annie? She's my daughter. I think we got separated on our way here. Should be easy to find. She put her red hat on today with a nice beach blue outfit. It's a birthday present from her dad, you know. It's... Oh, Annie, where are you? I'm here right here. I'm gonna be right here. Annie, there you are. I was scared. I thought you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. Adding one to the cry counter. Uh, we're going to do the quarry first before we take Alice, but yeah, um... We're going to say goodbye to Alice. Oh, well done. Um, you're ready and well equipped for the job. You did well, recruit. I'm happy to welcome you to the team. Here you go. Have fun in there, maybe. That sounds odd. You're going in an abandoned mine, after all. Be careful. Also, always respect the job. Hey, nice. Ah. Uh. Whoa! Plenty of marble. Nice. Rope and hematite. I'm gonna say there's gotta be a secret here, right? Has to be. Nope, apparently not. Secret here? Nope, apparently not. <laughs> That's how you get back in. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, okay. So you have to link. Just making sure there's nothing here? Okay. You do have to hold it. Okay. Good old calm. Oh, shit. Aha, uh -huh, you can slow down on it. Aha, uh -huh, of course. Why wouldn't you? Maple syrup. More marble, which is good. Ooh, that was close. Updraft! Anything over here? Nope, just an updraft. Nope. Okay, sweet. Anything hidden over here? Nope. Nothing hidden there.
Oh. Oh, okay. Do I not have... Hmm, I might not have the full ability. Ah, I just need to angle it correctly. That's what I need to do. Say no to enough coal. More marble. Uh, right. I think we've got everything we can out there, anyways. Without exploring too far, um, where are we going to find Ash? But we, we, we've got a job to do, unfortunately. It's part of the job, which is we're going to have to say goodbye to, to Alice. It is time. Gonna head to the bus stop. Need to get some more cooking done, I think. done so we need to make cotton it's cotton threads we needed so we'll make cotton threads One last hug. Okay. All right, the other door. Always interrupting her when she's eating her sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh, Annie, we're there, aren't we? Can we go now? Alright then.
Just preparing myself for this. What a wonderful scenery. Did you find this place all by yourself, Annie? You'd gone exploring earlier, hadn't you? And we're such an adventure, you. I'm so proud of you. Mm. These trees are quite marvellous. Eugene will be so mad to have missed that. Perhaps we'll be able to take some time off next summer. Mm. Yes, let's return here. I feel I could stay here forever. You haven't told me about school recently. Is everything still going well? And your grades, are they...? Oh, of course, you graduated a long time ago. I'm sorry, I don't know how I got this confused. Not Annie, are you? Mm. Of course. Because I've been rather forgetful recently. Mm. Maybe Eugene will. When you see your father, tell him about the trees, won't you? I'm sure he'll be excited to come with us next year. Uh, this one kind of like brings home to me. Um, I lost my uncle to Alzheimer's. You see, a lot of these deaths are gonna um, mean a lot. Um, I've I've lost quite a few family members. No, I'm a total fucking empath. I know I am. <laughs> I'm a complete empath. I, I always will be. Alright. So, um, we need to find ash. We need to find some ash wood. Still missing them.
Where the fuck are they? Yeah, Lemberg, okay. Uh, we can probably do Astrid as well then, I think. Yeah, let's do Astrid. Um, Astrid's journey. We have plenty of marble and aluminium ingots to make a windmill, which we can do for flour, because we haven't done flowers yet. Uh, we'll create a flower, uh, I should say, um, which would be good. Yeah, we're missing the chicken coop and the crusher. Well, we still don't know what pulsar ingots are either, to be honest, which kind of hampers. And we don't know. Oh, actually, we might know. We might know. Nope. No. Fine. Nope. We still don't know what Pulsar is yet. So we need to find Pulsar. Uh, we go to the bus stop here and we go to Weinberg. As usual, Stella, you accomplished your end of the deal with gusto. And while I noticed that you disregarded much of my previous indications, what a great space you managed to put together. It would be a much better working environment than that noisy guest house. And as a plus, I can even move in so I can entirely focus on my work. Oh, don't act surprised, I've only ever felt at home when surrounded by my work. Which some might consider sleeping in their office a punishment. I actually am looking forward to it. Can't wait to fill up this empty space. How exciting. Do carry on. I'll gather my things and my thoughts and I'll tell you when we're ready for the next step. Um, we'll continue with Astrid's, because we know her husband will be there. Carrots. Do some more cooking whilst I'm here as well. I think I might do some rice um, in the grain field. I can do the windmill as well, right? I just need planks for the windmill. God, I'm getting forgetful now. Get some more coffee. Get some more sugar cane. Plenty of oak wood. Let's get some more oak planks going. Oh, that's the kitchen. Oh, actually, what's right here? Oh, 
Fuck it. <laughs> Corn and maple syrup. That's going to be a beautiful combination. Oh god, mess that up. We'll build the uh, windmill as well. Perfect. One flower. Uh, we'll do vice flower. enough we'll rearrange everything again in the as we always have to all right you little shit what have you got well nothing I'm interested in mm -hmm. I'm waiting for someone don't bother me Oh. Of course. I know why. Oh, the chicken coop upgrade. Nice. Okay, I need to sleep and come back in the morning. Because I need Astrid to come with. enough. That makes sense. I suppose. Astrid to come all the way to the front. Yeah, fair enough. Yep. I think we should be good. No, she still hasn't. Oh, I've got to plant some resources on Marsh's shell first. Oh, fuck me. Didn't even read that. Uh, at least there's not 
too far away. Hmm. Hmm. No, nothing worthwhile there. All this stuff though. Um. Yeah, buy some more empty bottles because we can. Um. Don't have to look about it. We can't do upgrade that. We can get the bigger ship. Um, we could upgrade the ship actually because we've got slates. We can just get some more oak planks. Need more oak planks. Okay, we. I think we'll upgrade the ship and expand it. Then maybe, because I think what that will allow us to do is to head south, and if it allows us to head south, maybe I can find Ash there. We'll stop off at Martha anyways, just to, like, plant resources. I'm not sure what resources... But I did plant resources on Martha. Maybe I need to do all three. Oh, sorry, Marsha. Yes, 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 yes. I know you want some fried chicken. I still can't do fried chicken yet. How far away is Marsha? Not that far. Good. Right. Yeah, so we've got enough there. We can get the slate from uh, the other turtle. To um, help us travel faster um, and we can get the big boats as well um, we can't do that one yet until we do something else yeah upgrade the boat with the figurehead I uh, need a picture frame I can't do picture frame on his yet can I uh, where's his workshop yeah I need comet powder and ash plank because I still don't have ash so until we get that, we ain't doing anything. Um, there will be more crates coming. Let's do some watering. Didn't realize I gave you cherries last time. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, Marsh is coming up. I just want to see if, like, extracting the marble will help move that mission marker on. If not, all good. We'll do the ship upgrade, anyways.
Um, aluminium. Maple. Oak. There we go. Your sweet time, are you done? Yes. Alright, I'll see you later then. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh! Hell's yeah! Thank you. She's never been nice running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So Giovanni is in Loneberg. Well, usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. Yeah, cool. Um, how do I want to do this? Do I want to go do that first? I think I will, actually. Shit. Ooh, a wanton soup! How's it? I mean, since we were just there, it's not too much of a trek to, to get back to exactly where we were. So... Uh, means I can keep experimenting with dishes. Actually, no. Uh, how how do let's change course? Uh, oh look, it doesn't really matter if I change course because there's no bus stop near me, anyways. So I might as well just go to here, sort this out, go to the bus stop, and then head down over here. I can head here. Go collect the slate that I want in the limestone. I can then go to Albert to get the stuff that I want. Because I was talking away from the mic. Since we're here, we might as well do it because it's close to the um to the bus stop for us to travel. Oh, to feed the sheepies. You want some cherries? Okay. Good to know. Didn't know what else I was expecting. You can have some cherries too? I get some more. Probably finish up in about half an hour. See if we can get the um Yeah. I probably left before Astrid got on the boat. Ah, here we go. Oh, he's been here. I can feel it. I won't beg, but if you could. Oh, come on, you know what to do. Oh. Oh my. Aren't you the cutie pie Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Like a cute little peanut pie. What? You're looking for someone named Giovanni? Ah, but that Bambina doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Leon Formidable. Way to break it to you, though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Astrid, you say? He's with you on your lovely boat. No more. Here I come. He what? Just like that. No fuss. Really. 
You must be really desperate. Let's go back. Oh, here we go. He's here. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome aboard, Stella. Are you nuts? I think we're about to have an uncomfortable conversation here between husband and wife. Giovanni. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. You look good. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. Stars are gone from the sky. No one is here to scratch my back. I even have to buy a back scratcher. You know the wooden ones with the little plastic hand on top. <laughs> Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I'll never forget. But... But... But I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? I trust you on this. Or should I forget about you right here and right now? Hmm. Yes. Oh yes, my princess. Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at another woman ever again. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Alright. Alright, Joe Vickens. You're still on probation, mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? Now come here, I have so much to tell you. Giovanni, I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you've got better things to do than to watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. I'll talk to you later. Can I talk to him? I can't talk to him. My back. I've once again hit a roadblock. As you know, much of my work requires me to communicate with my trusted correspondents. Of course, he used to help me with that quite a lot. Look at me now, back at full strength. And even though I don't need a secretary, I still need a desk. Now, we could use any old desk, but that would defeat our purpose, would it not? Only the best for the good for the exhibit. To that end, I managed to track down a woodworker of excellent reputation. I know he lives in Oxbury, but I haven't been able to contact him. They should go and investigate some good old-fashioned fieldwork. And while I do not know exactly where he might be, I do know that his companion works in some sort of cafe. Maybe that could lead you on to... On, yeah, could lead you on his trail. Oh, and on a related note, I've done some thinking. I'm not certain the vast assortment of tools you put at our disposal will yet be enough. Since everything apparently has been refined from raw materials, some finer materials will be required. Will require a more specialized workshop. You should consider building a smithy to help us with that. Okay, so Oxbury is good because Oxbury, they said, is a wood. There's a wood person there, so let's see what that is. I have a feeling, I have a bit of an inkling, it's over here isn't it? Yeah, that's why I haven't been able to get any ash, potentially. Cool, that answers it. Right, we'll go to sleep. We'll wake up, we'll go to the bus stop, we'll get the slate that's required for the upgrade. We will uh, get the two upgrades that we will do. Uh, and we will see if we can go to Oxenbury. Exotic delicacies are just my taste. Oh, yes, quite good. I figured as much, actually. That does not surprise me at all. We haven't got zinc either. Hmm.
We'll head south of the slate. Uh, so what do I want the slate for? It was... We don't have his blueprints yet, so that's fine. That's right, it was for Alice's cottage. Because I feel it's appropriate that we fix her cottage up. We've done everyone's cottage. Oh, we can get some... Well, we're missing a few things anyway, so... Um, but we have been doing everyone's cottages. You know, even when they're not here. Hello. Need you for your slate and your limestone. You can keep the tree. How much money do I actually have? Because I think I might be short. Ooh, I don't actually have enough for everything that I wanted to do. Hmm. Because I also want to expand the ship out. That's fine. All we just need to do is sell some shit. Which, uh, I'm very certain we can do anyways. Oh, here we go. My assistant Lisa says he's well, well off. I've organized my fair share of exhibitions through like, my life. One of my even say that it was my career. Although I prefer to think of it as my vocation, but every single one of them, museum, private or public galleries, festivals, anti-fascist rallies, corporate tax schemes, living performances, every single one of them has been corrupted by base, obtuse, threatenous politics. The public is not ready for this one, Gustav. This artist slept with this one and there, there's some bad blood. Queen has a preference for this tepid piece of art bourgeois. I never, not at once, been allowed free reign over an exhibition. I often thought to myself, Gustav, you'll be respected when you get older. No one would dare question your gusto. But then, well, you know what happened. When my body gave out and my legs became as obstinate as pieces of wood, and then disease slowly creeping up until my features froze into a ridi ridiculous grimace. I didn't mind all that. After all, the body is but a tool for the mind, and my mind has always been as clear as fresh spring water. No, what I loathed was this perception others had of me. When you turn into a grotesque statue of yourself, people start treating you as furniture. All this work, all those years, the sacrifices, the humiliations, these suddenly lost all worth. I tried to keep up with my work, as you remember, and thanks to your help, but things were never quite the same. Well, this time, it will be different. This exhibition will be pure chaos, a maelstrom of artistic sensitivities thrown together in defiance of all human laws, to reinforce this greatest message of transcendence through beauty. Yes, that is my goal now. And yours too, should you choose to keep helping me. I'm sure you will. Hey, Peanut. I see you picked a spot on the map. What wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world go in places, meeting new faces. Also exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible, though, could you do something for me? Let us just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Mm -hmm. Don't say it out loud. A secret I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ah, knew you would be on board. Alright, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. The shop there just received a batch, a batch of fancy chocolate boxes. And she just loves chocolate. Dark and expensive kind. Mm -hmm. The perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambina. Let's head there then. We will once we finish fixing the fucking ship. Hey, hi Albert, do you have another pun for me? Can I sell shit whilst I'm here? 
That mill looks impressive. Do you know what they call one lonely grain of corn in a tree? No, guess. Acorn. Thank you, Albert. I didn't even realize there was that many. Oh. I don't have fire glow. Well, okay, at least we go faster. God oh, damn it. Where the fuck do I get fire glow from? That's a question. That was a very big question. Well, I'm also gonna like expand the, the boat, so I'm just gonna go and sell some shit. Um So I have enough to have like sixteen thousand and then I'll go back to Albert and then I'll um expand the boat. I need to know where the fuck I get fire glow from. I've never seen it yet. Should be good now. Go back to Albert. <laughs> Let me check. Because I want some here. I can quickly... Yeah, we got plenty. I don't have slate anymore. Because of course I don't. God, the irony. I wonder where fire glow can be. Hmm. It's like a fishing spot there, right? Um, ah, but of course, the fireflies. I think that's all I'm missing then, and and the money I would assume. Let's see how much money. Uh, do we want to stretch it? I think I can do it in ten minutes. Yeah, I think we can do this in like ten, fifteen minutes. I'm just conscious of the time. Um, since we're here. Yeah, so we got everything else, we just need six fire glow. Okay. I want to have the bigger boat anyways, because, yeah, it's just easier for me to organise stuff, because I'll probably want to organise it very soon. Um, can I get to fire glow fireflies quickly? No, I can only get to them from here. So the quickest way for me to get to them would be... Oh, there's nothing close by. Oh, no, that one's pretty close. Okay. Nope. Get to the actual bus stop. the bloody irony that I need more fucking slate. Um, I can do an iron ingot, but I don't have ash planks, don't have zinc, clear glass sheet, I don't have... Alright, well let's... Alright, so we're gonna travel to here. We'll go over to where the fireflies are. We'll get the firefly seeds. Seeds. We'll plant them. Um, we will probably not have time to grow them, but we can certainly try. Uh, 
Um, with that being said, let's get all the veggies out. Find out where we can plant them. And <laughs> the sheep just grew its wool next door. Here we go. What is that? Do you hear that, Stella? Is that music? An organ? Strings? How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Oh, what beauty. Stella, would you mind letting the music in? It means so much to me. Let the notes flow through you, Stella. Let the music strike straight to your heart. Yep, here we go. I love this music. Indecisive. No, come back, come back, come back. No. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh my god, wow. Right, we're gonna do what we normally do. Uh, I think we might actually have a chance to get some stuff done, so I'm gonna sleep till morning. We're going to head over to the bus stop and head back to Albert's. Um, I'm gonna play music for the fireflies to help them grow. Um, so by the time that we get to Albert's, we should have enough to be able to um, unlock the next part, and then we'll call that there for the night. Thank you everyone that has hung out, thank you for the lurkers, thank you so much for uh, everyone that has spent time uh, for the messages and everything. Hope you have all enjoyed. We'll do my normal usual ramble at the end, but... Got to set my direction, didn't I? <laughs> Watch the bus stop.
Um, this go to. Yep. Right. Travel back over here. Head over to Albert's, do the last fireflies. And the fire glows, sorry. I think also learned a new song. Um, where is it? Which I think I can do to change up the trees that I have. That's the same one. Okay. I wonder if you can change the tune. Okay. Hi, Albert. I'm back. I should have the monies. I should have everything I need. Watch me not have enough glim. Oh, that's one mighty foundry. When they built it, they were surely thinking outside the box. I. Like... You. Okay. We have upgraded Zibot. We have six minutes before I need to start doing the end and the wrap up of the stream. So, with that being said, let us travel. We're going to go to the bottom line court because that's the place where um, Giovanni wants us to go. So, we'll go there. Thinking, what else needs fire glow? I don't think anything else needs fire glow for building. Need to do more wool fabric. I think for improvements though, there may be a couple. Yeah, for the guest house. That's right, the guest house needs some fire glow as well. Uh, let us feed some people. Oh, let's go. To, we'll, go to the, we'll do the wool as well. May as well. I can plant the fire glow whilst I'm here. We've got enough feeds. Yes, I'm getting there. Hug. Oh. Funny story, I heard a terrible sound, so then I told myself, oh no, the engine is going to explode. But no, that gigantic, tremendous, roaring sound was my stomach. Come on now, Peanut, I'm starving. Jerry's? <laughs> I don't like the line, that's a good one. I'm hilarious. Can I get a hug? No. Apple? Uh, Astrid, you're in the way. Um, Astrid, Astrid, Astrid.
Yeah, no, made it work. Alrighty. Cool. We are going to call it here. We will continue the side quests later. But I believe from there we've been streaming for about five hours, so I am happy to call it here. So we had some good stuff on Final Fantasy XV, uh, Royal Edition. Um, and one emotional moment only in Spirit Fair where we said goodbye to Alice, but we have made some good progress, I think. Now we think we've uncovered the next area where we need to go. So, uh, this has been an amazing journey doing this and playing this game. I can't wait for next week. Um, until we do it. Um, some shout outs. Um, first and foremost, thank you to all the lurkers um, for enjoying the stream and for hanging out and watching. I hope you have all enjoyed it. Uh, this has been a fantastic game. Big thank you to Yana Dragon for chilling. Um, she is the artist that does all the animated emotes for the channel. Um, big shout out to Ardot89 um, who came back streaming um recently um and we'll be doing his wild beyond the Witchlight campaign most likely tomorrow night at around 8 p.m australian Dalit savings time i believe i will confirm um go absolutely give him a follow and check him out he is absolutely amazing um another person that you should all uh check out as well who will be returning back to streaming very shortly as well is another good friend of the channel is lexicon underscore tv so um, absolutely, they're doing some stuff in regards to uh, the Game Pass. They've got Game Pass Gauntlet that they will be running. They will be coming back, um, hopefully, in the next week or so. Um, if not, in the early New Year. Um, I don't have an emote for this, or sorry, like a thing for this, um, but I do have my birthday bash stream, which will be on the 16th of December. Um, it will be, um, still finalizing the details. I know, like, it's, it's a f only, like, five days away, but I still haven't finalized it because I don't normally celebrate my birthday. Um, but we're going to be doing a birthday slash charity drive. We're going to be raising money for Make-A-Wish Foundation in Australia. Uh, I figured since it's Christmas, let's get into the Christmas spirit, um, as well as my birthday. Um, by donating money to make sure that we help the, um, wishes of children, um, come true. Um, so we'll have some goals in regards to that. There will be some um, rewards and punishments for um, for the streamer for how much money we raise, because why the heck not? That always seems like a good incentive is to, to make me suffer. Um, plus, we're also going to be doing like plastic, plastic duck simulator. So if you have money to donate um, or subscriptions or things of that manner, you get to name ducks in the pond. Uh, there are some that are reserved, so apologies if the one that you want may not be available, but we will do our best to accommodate where we can. Um, uh, if, as always, here on my socials, um, that's my Twitter and my YouTube and my throne. Um, so absolutely check me out, because um, if you miss a stream, you're not sure when I am streaming, I normally post my schedule up on Twitter and also when I say go live. Um, if you haven't already given me a follow, give me a follow, because then you'll get live notifications. Um, outside of that, uh, also my YouTube, where all my VODs are uploaded. So if you missed the start of this one, uh, this will be uploaded uh, by Thursday, I believe. Dan the Man will be able to do that later in the week. Uh, also, you'll check out things such as my Final Fantasy 16 speedrunning, the DLC that I did on Friday night, um, as well as Sea of Stars, which we play on Thursdays, uh, and Bus Simulator, which we play on Fridays, as well as uh, some other variety games that I've done in the past. Um, that being said, the last thing is my schedule uh, for the week. Um, on Thursday, I will be doing Sea of Stars. Um, as long as, as well as some Final Fantasy 15 practice, uh, and yeah, Friday is Bus Simulator, so that is what we have planned for the week, and then obviously Saturday we have the birthday stream. Um, now there is someone that we are going to absolutely raid who is a good friend of the channel as well, uh, Mr. A Rogue Hawk, who has, uh, viewed us on many occasions. Uh, we're going to start a raid for him. I know we're only a couple of users, but absolutely we're going to give him a raid to give him to show him some love. He seems to be playing God of War Ragnarok, uh, I believe because of the new game plus that was announced. So absolutely we're going to go over and give him a shout out. So come follow me for the raid. Uh, with that being said, I will catch you all later. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, night, depending on where you are in the world. 
love you all. Catch you over on the road, and I'll catch you later. Bye.